I had been seeing them for months. These super intriguing photos from Toon's founders, Lucas and Lee, in Alaska? Turns out, Geeks in the Woods isn't just the annual offsite retreat for engineers anymore. It's a movement. I met up with Lee in Anchorage, and soon we were on a plane to Valdez, Alaska. The chance to see firsthand what's going on up there. Immediately it became clear that this is something very traditional for Alaska. This is pioneering. This is tech homesteading. For now, Lee calls it an experiment. He's seeing if people can live and work outside of crowded city centers, closer to nature. The experiment is to help define what is work-life integration. Communication technology keeps advancing, but the way we work and live isn't. Um, so if you want to spend... The idea is to entice people at Tune to come up to Valdez and give it a try. An option to see a new place, bond with coworkers, feel inspired and refreshed. And Lee is a great host. The amount of tools, toys, comforts, and luxuries brought to Valdez is amazing. Right here is the most important part about camp, is we have power. Being uh, software engineers, professionals, we have to stay connected, and we're connected here in Valdez. Back in Seattle, I met up with a couple tune engineers to hear about their recent experience in Alaska. They had a chance to visit as well. It's like, have you ever been somewhere where, that is so far outside of what you had previously comprehended or imagined that it kind of shocks you? And so it's like inside programming, like with the wind flapping and like the tents, like poof, 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 poof. And like, you can, get a lot of, you can get a lot of things done just like in that small environment. And then like you go out and you open the door and it's just like mountains, this is all you can see, right? Things are still in the early stages with Geeks in the Woods Valdez. Working and living in tents in the Alaska winter, you might think, surely that's way too cold to live, but no, not really. I think the bunk tent was warmer than my house. I learned that it's extra motivating to get work done and focus when you know there's immense beauty and endless options for exploration literally out the door. There's just something about being able to get some work done, head out the tent, hop in an ATV, and go eat some bacon. Rumor has it that some cabins are in order, and no doubt this place will look a lot different in the summertime, opening up even more space to work and play. I got the sense that this is the start of something big. I mean, when Lucas and Lee put their mind to something, they get it done. That's how Tune exists in the first place. Yeah, they have a good uh, history of, of, of executing on their visions. It's clear that Lee has been hooked by Alaska. It happens. Alaska is a place where you can make your own path and feel truly alive. And Lee is spreading that notion. The state of Alaska itself has fallen on hard times economically. State revenues are down more than 80% from four years ago. There's been a big dependence on old technology in the past. I left Valdez wondering, what if tech could save Alaska? The future here is still being written, and I for one can't wait to see what happens next.